Hey folks, it is uh, June 19th, 2022 at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon Pacific time. This is Dave Weinstock and I thought I would take a few moments just to go over some of the effects um, of a, rel a random assortment of Thinkit components. Thinkits with various handles and slider tube assemblies in them. So the first one we have here, uh, this is, um, now remember this doesn't apply, I'm not talking about the aesthetics, the different materials, the shapes of the handles or the slider heads um, in general. I'm talking about the internal um, action effects based on the, the configuration for the magnets inside the slider tube. Uh, and the configuration of the inner sleeve and ferrous components inside any given handle. So this is a standard um, configuration. This has a standardly, a standard configured handle uh, and a standard configured slider, standard handle and slider. And it gives that satisfying bounce, you know, a little bit of a click. And if you put the, um, the O-rings in these specially machined grooves, then it gives you what I like to call um, a reassuring thud. So this version will give you this through, through motion, back and forth clicking. Uh, with the O-rings, it'll give you a reassuring thud. And without them, it gives you what I like to refer to as a satisfying bounce. So that's where everything begins. That's the default action on all Thinkits. But it's possible to change up the handles and the sliders so that you get a bunch of different haptic effects and uh, audible you know, sounds or clicking noises or thuds or things like that. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take um, a different standard configuration, which is uh, this is a weird handle. This has the internal action in the handle that give you sort of a weird effect. You can take a, this is a standard slider internally, and when you put these two together, you get a different look altogether. Well, it's, it's and also a different effect. Um, you can just use it in the configuration as is, and you see you have this protruding end, which gives you a little bit of a pen click action. It's kind of satisfying. It's soft and really kind of cool. But it also gives you a soft throughput motion because the handle doesn't go all the way through before it gives you the action. Um, you can also push it all the way through and get a little bit of a uh, an extra bounce kick at the end. You can also use this one with the O-rings because this think it also does have the specially machined slider heads. And here you get an even softer dampened thudding sound. Um, it's a, also a reassuring thud, but it's a little bit different. Okay, um, so that's this configuration. Now, what happens if I take, uh, let, me, let me take a different type of handle. Uh, in this case, this is a nano click. You'll notice that it has the shortened um, slider. This is the nano, <coughs> excuse me, the nano click slider, and um, it's shorter than the standard slider by quite a bit. If you put the two of them together, see, and the handle is also configured differently. In that, when you put it in, this one has two magnets in it instead of one large magnet, and when you put it together, you get two clicking positions. Here you get, uh, this is the standard uh, position, then it centers also and it goes to the other end. So when you push on it, you can push it all the way through, but you get kind of a double click, which is pretty cool. Now you can also take a standard slider and use it with the nano click handle, and then you automatically get this centering action. And that'll give you like a longer pen click action from either end. So uh, remember that any of the handles can be configured with any of the different actions. And basically, to date, there are three primary 
handle configurations. One is the standard action configuration, the next is the nano click, and then there's the weird handle. Now let's say um, I take a, um, oh you can also, sorry, use a standard handle and a nano click, uh, um, a, a, a nano click handle, sorry, excuse me, a nano click handle and a standard slider to get a bit, of, a bit of a different feel if you put the O rings on it. So you get this little bouncing thud, which is, you know, very, it's a little bit different. And you can't, of course, when the O rings are on there, you can't pull out the slider. But if you, with any of the thinkets, you can basically, well, it's, it's harder with a nano click handle, but you can pull the slider out. Uh, and flip it around. I'll show you that here a little bit more clearly with the standard. This is the easiest handle action to pull it out and flip it around and that sort of thing. Well, let's get back to the nano click here. So that's the standard handle. This is the nano click handle. And um, as I said, the nano click handle and nano click slider go together very well. They give you this nice double click action. It's also more compact in the hand. Now, one thing you should be aware of is that you cannot use, you can use the um, O-rings with the nano click, but you can only use one O-ring at a time because if you tried to put both of them on at the same time, uh, you would basically freeze it in the centered position and, and it would be hard to get that extra o-ring out so you can get two different effects you know you can get this thud and then you can get a push through like that but you can't put an o-ring on the open end when it come when you're using an anaclick handle otherwise you won't be able to take it apart and it'll have a really tough time getting the o-ring off okay so that's this configuration and um i'm also going to show you a different um slider. The internal configuration of this slider is what I call a six-click slider. And if if we put, they look the same, the standard and the six-click look the same, but the effects are completely different when you put them inside a handle. So this is a standard handle configuration and standard handle assembly or standard action handle assembly. But you'll notice when I put it in the handle, when I put this six click slider in the handle, it hyper extends. Here's what it looks like if we put a standard slider in a standard handle, and here's what it looks like if I put a six click slider in the six click handle. It sticks out quite a bit more, and that's because it's got more resting positions, uh, more clicking positions along the length of this slider. Inside there are four magnets and they give you seven positions and six clicking positions. So let me um, show you what it's like when you use that. So if you put it in the initial position you can click it once, twice, three times, four times, five times, and six times. Isn't that cool? So it hyperextends on both ends. And if you put this um, six click slider into the other handles, you get different actions as well. I'm going to put this into the six click slider into the nano click handle, and you get a b little bit of a different configuration. It doesn't quite hyper, it doesn't hyper extend quite as far out. And now, if I'm correct, let's see, I believe you get less, yeah, you get less clicks, and you get sort of a squishy rushing click in the center. So here's the end position. You push it through, it goes a little, it goes in one full click, but when you push it more from that first clicking position to the next one, you get a little bit of a rushed, very small click. So if you push it through like that, it just sort of, and it will, it feels like it has a little bit of a play, but now it's squishy in the center, but then when you get out to the end, it clicks one short one and then another long one. So you don't have as many clicks, but you've got a variable linear segmented action compared to the action you would get if you put this same slider in a standard handle. Now remember, all to date, all Gen 1, Gen 2, and Gen 3 think it handles and slider configurations are backwards compatible 
to earlier versions. In other words, you can use any earlier Thinkit slider or newer Thinkit slider with any older Thinkit handle or newer Thinkit handle. Um, so now I'm going to put this, I put it in a nano click, I put it in a standard, now I'm going to put it in a weird handle and we'll see what we get. So this is the six click slider, a weird handle, you still get the hyper extension and you've got, it's very similar to the standard and the six click, but in the center you get a little bit more of a rushed pass through. You get you get a lot of clicks, but in the center, it sort of squishes by the center. And again, you can still use, because you've got these different levels of extension, with the weird handle and the six click slider, you can get, well, you can get a, a little bit of a mini pen click, and then you can get, here it's like it kind of stops. So you can do this, which is kind of cool. Um, usually on these with the weird handle, you'll get one side that will tend to want to rest and the other side will tend to want to bounce. So on the side that rests, you can do this. Oh, sorry, the, the one that rests is this. Hmm? I guess they switched. It's got a flipping magnetic field, I guess. So you've got a much more squishy push through when you put the O-rings on there. But when you remove them, then they're more discreet. You know, they're they're more definite. You can feel it going all the way through. It's a linear segmented clicking. So that's the six click slider with a weird configured handle. Standard handle with a standard slider. And this is an OG original, this is an original OG um, heavy metal think it handle. It's aluminum, think it uh, nickel plated, bright nickel plated. And here it's, um, um, it's shown with the um, six click slider and this is a standard configuration handle it's just that it it's an OG uh, original heavy metal think it handle and I have a few of these left um, I don't know if they're displayed on my website but if you're interested in one of these OG handles just give me a give me a haul or give me a shout out uh, you can contact me pretty directly either with a DM on Facebook or um, by going to my website, thinkit.com, and using the um, uh, contact email form there. Okay, so that's the uh, six click. I kind of like this combination with the, um, the nickel plated handle. It's, it's sort of a larger diameter handle than the, um, but it, it sort of lets you uh, feel the vibration of the six click slider really well for some reason. Okay, so we're going to take that out and put it back here. Now I'm going to show you some of the other configurations. Um, this little baby right here, this is, some of you may be familiar with it, this is a fixed mechanism uh, Thinkit. It's the Thinkit Clacker. Now you can put the O-rings in this, but they don't have an effect because um, here they're just aesthetic. Uh, this clacking action um, is kind of cool. It's, it's the loudest thinkit that I currently make. And it's, uh, it incorporates a standard configuration handle and a modified standard configuration slider. As you can see, this slider is fixed. It won't come out. It's got these nylon or Delrin uh, rings on them that stop it from passing through. And this is a permanent mechanism. It's not to be taken apart. It won't pass through. It just has a really nice haptic clicking effect right there. Okay, so that one uh, this configuration can be made with other handles, but this is the standard that I have on my website. And the, and the um, ones on my website currently have stamped slider heads. These are nickel-plated slider heads and a nickel-plated handle. And the slider heads are stamped uh, on one end with a compass icon, north, south, east, and west compass icon, and on the other with a solar or sun uh, icon image. All right, 
So let's put that away here. And then I'll show you this configuration. This configuration is basically a, let me take these O-rings out and I'll show you kind of slider that we have here. Uh, first of all, note that this slider has been uh, put together with um, the black DLC PVD coated slider tube. They were very expensive slider tubes to have made and they have a really unique brass rubbing effect on the inner sleeve, the inner solid brass sleeve that comes inside every Thinkit. And it will give you this really kind of cool iridescent glow on the um, on the slider itself and it sort of shows this. It's kind of like a brass rubbing effect. Now this can easily be washed off with um, like a damp, uh, water damp cotton terry cloth, you know, something like that. And uh, it's kind of a really cool look. It builds, it can build up over time. And uh, the nice thing is that it doesn't seem to rub off on your hands, this uh, iridescent sort of effect, surface effect that you get with the um, brass slider tube and the, um, uh, the new DLC PVD coated stainless steel slider tubes. Now this is a uh, multi, no I'm sorry, this, this slider, here you'll be able to hear it, this is a super click slider action inside. It was. I thought it was. Or this. Oh no, I'm sorry. This one isn't it. This one is a standard configuration. It's this other one with gold plated slider heads that it is a super click. This is a super click slider configuration. So you can hear that. Internally, it's got um, a free floating stainless steel reinforced magnet assembly. This is a super click slider assembly, and that can be put inside any type of slider. Um, this uh, handle happens to be my, um, it's a relatively new, it's a hand carved uh, Chamtique patina finish on a copper plated solid brass Think It Now handle. And then these slider heads are 24 karat gold plated, and the uh, slider tube is of course the black DLC PVD coated slider tube that is a stainless steel slider tube with this really cool black porcelain like uh, very smooth finish on the surface but it's got this very fine grit to it so that it it builds up a little bit of a really cool brass rubbing patina uh, iridescence on the surface over time and like I said that can be easily removed with a warm damp cloth it takes a little while but it can be done until then it's, you know, it's, it's black again. Um, so that's, and, and one thing I recommend also with some of these is uh, you can wax them with like Renaissance wax to help smoothen up and dampen it even more. And when I say dampen, I mean dampen the clicking effect or sound uh, of, of the sliders. This is the way a super click slider sounds in tie, inside of a standard handle configuration. Anyway, I really like this handle and slider head combination. I also like um, this combination a, a lot. These are um, these are also 24 karat gold plated slider heads that have um, been hit with a heat patina finish. And uh, it's also on a DLC coated slider tube with that brass rubbing iridescence to it. And I like these together. This is a um, this is a uh, oh this is a a multi click slider. Sorry, it's not a standard configuration slider. This is a multi click slider. So it has less clicks than a than a six click. So one position, two, three, four, five total positions there. So that's a multi-click slider. It also does a bit of hyper extending. I like the way these look with these Chamtique Patina Think It Now handles. This is a uh, kind of a random chaos symbol icon, icon uh, kind of carving and stamping 
on the outside of that copper-plated handle before it gets hit with a this shem teak uh, heat patina finish. Okay, so that's these guys right here. What else do we have? Oh yes, the last thing I want to show you. I'm really kind of excited about that, about this. These two thinkets look, well, mainly I'm focused on the slider tubes. These are little, I like to call them baby slider tubes. It's a new, these are just prototypes. These have got a, a 260 brass slider tube and nickel plated slider heads. Eventually these will be, when they're no longer in prototype form, these will be nickel plated brass slider tubes. But notice how they're much shorter than the standard slider tubes. If I put them next to each other, you can see there's a huge difference. Even, it's an even shorter slider tube than the NanoClick Thinkit slider tube, which is right here. Up until now, this was the shortest slider tube, but there's even a significant size difference between these two, as you can see. Okay. Anyway, here's the effect that the baby click slider tube has when you put it in. It, it has different, slightly different effects when you put it in any handle. Here, um, let's see, what is this handle? This appears to be a standard handle. You see, it gives this kind of a snap click sort of feel to it. Notice that these two slider tubes are slightly different. They don't look different, but internally they are. This one on this side um, is, is a, has a restricted single magnet in the center. And so you can feel it sort of slightly move, but it's basically constrained. This one has a little, I don't know if you can hear that, but it has a little bit of a clicking. When you do this, you can hear a little clicking sound to it. And that's because it has a free floating magnet that only goes a short distance back and forth. And it is bounded on both sides by uh, nylon, uh, um, nylon rings and uh, when you put it into a handle you get this snap click effect which is kind of cool so now this one is a little it's not super loud it's not as loud as the clacker but it's still kind of loud all right and then when you put the other one in there you've got more of a dampened feel it's less of a snap click and more of a squishy double click kind of thing now that's if you put it inside of a, let me see, what kind of handle is this? Is this a standard handle? Um, let me make sure what I'm dealing with here. Sometimes I get confused. All right, so we know that this, well, that's not a standard slider. This, here we go, here's a standard slider in this one. Okay, so that's a standard slider. Yeah, so that's a standard handle. So when you put the, um, the baby click version that has play to it, when you put it in a standard handle, you get the snapping sound. And when you put one that has a constrained magnet inside, you get more of a squishy snap to it. I'm not sure which, this is why it's in prototype form. I'm not sure which one of these internally constructed versions I'm going to release, probably not both of them. Um, it'll probably be the free floating one that has more of a snap click to it because it's a very distinctive sort of snapping sound there. Um, so then let's put this baby click inside now a um, weird handle and see what we get. So this is a weird handle configuration here, as we know from earlier. And now you get this sort of double click and snap on one side, because of the polarity of the magnet inside, you get a snap like that. And then on the other side, it's more, a little less of a snap. One has a sharp snap to it the other direction, not as snappy, but still a snap. And then, so that's inside of a weird handle. Now let's put it into a nanoclick handle and see what we got. I'll take out the nanoclick slider and put it in a nano click handle. 
so it protrudes slightly. This is the baby click slider tube. And in these nano click handle, the baby click slider tube just gives you one little cute little snapping push. Basically, that's it. So these are, like I said, these are eventually going to be nickel plated solid brass slider tubes for the baby click sliders. They're not yet on my website, but I will be putting them on after I get a batch of these slider tubes back to build them with. Um, and uh, then they'll be available as the baby click. Anyway, these are the, this is the random assortment of stuff that I wanted to show you. Um, hope you enjoyed watching this video and thank you very much and ciao for now.